So just about a month back, I did a video on this stock called Genting Singapore. Some people call it Genting Singapore, and one of those stocks in the tourism sector, all right? And you know, there were some signs of the uptrend starting to form. So there's some upside targets that were drawn, and you know, there was a, a play on you know, kind of like the world opening up, people starting to travel, and a play on the aviation and the tourism sector starting to pick up as we head into 2023. All right, so in today's video, we're covering this stock again called Genting Singapore, all right, here. And this is also what happened um, just last month. You see right over here, uh, there was these upside targets that were drawn right over here at about 0 0.865. We kind of broke this very key resistance level at that 85 cents. We pretty much we were trading below it. Look at this right here, about one, two, three, four times. We touched it since like 2021. We came back down, but just about last month, we broke this key 85 cents level and some upside targets were drawn all the way to about 95 cents level right here about more than 10 percent upside so a month has passed all right and a lot of people are asking me what's my take uh, can we still see more upside is it time to get out uh what do we do for next year for this specific stock So here we are now trading at about 0.94. So a month has passed. We are kind of like approaching the end of 2022. And we kind of like push up as per our targets from like 0.85 all the way to about 0.95. And we are indeed starting to see some profit taking over the past few days, right? So the question is, why is it 0.95? Why did we even draw that target of 0.95? Let me just go to explain it to you again, all right? And look at this right here. This was the uh, level that we, whereby we hit in 2021, much more than a year back, and we sold all the way down, swing up, down, right? And we found some support around that 70 cents. So 70 cents to 85 cents was pretty much the consolidation for more than a year until we broke that level right here, right? Just as I mentioned, about a month back, we broke this 85 cents. And that was where some upside momentum started to happen. Of course, there were some signs of the uptrend uh, starting to form up as well. Right? So upside targets were drawn to about 0 0.95, which was pretty much that resistance level that we've seen somewhere in 2021. Look at this right here. This was in 2020 as well. We kind of like touched about a couple of three, four times and we sold back down. So that's the reason why we drew, I mean, in terms of upside targets to that 95 cents, right? So what is the outlook right now? I mean, uh, can we see selling coming back? You know, is the trend still pointing up? Let's go to find out, right? So you can see that from the moving averages, um, just last month, I mean, the reason why we um, kind of like covered it was because we broke 85 cents, number one. Number two is that this moving average, that 20 days moving average, look, look at this green line, it was pretty much pointing up, right? So the green line is pointing up, that is the short term 20 days moving average with prices above it, it broke a key resistance, that's a sign of strength, that's where uh, we could see more upside, which kind of like happen, all right? So that's the first thing. The second thing would be like, the moving averages in the mid to long term. So look at this uh, red and blue line. I mean, since like 2021, this red and blue line, they're pretty much pointing down, down, kind of flattening out a bit and then crossing one another. But somewhere around like November, when we kind of broke this 85 cents, you can see that this red and blue line, the 100 days and the 200 days moving average are starting to point up, right? That's a sign of strength. Uh, you know, with the red above the blue, both of them are pointing up. It's a sign of trend change finally, right? Starting to take shape in terms of the upwards direction, right? So let me see what would be the range right now. So I would say that right now, um, after breaking that 85 cents, we consolidated a little bit. We went to about that 90 cents. We broke the 90 cents. It's a little bit of a psychological resistance level right here, kind of like broke it and we push up to 95 and we are seeing selling. So I think right now, um, support could be around that 90 cents. Let me just go to turn this um, 90 cents resistance to like a green line to be like a support. And also look, look at this right here, this 20 days moving average line. Look at this right, as I mentioned, we, we broke this 85 cents this green line was still pointing up, prices was above it, we started to push up, up, and this green line has continued to push up, 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 and right now we are still pointing up. Does it make sense, right? This green line is still pointing up, and it also coincides with where the 90 cents level is, right? So this 90 cents level, I think, would be a key psychological support level. I'm just going to draw some upside targets. I think anything above that 90 cents, we might kind of like consolidate, which is healthy. We want to see some consolidation from like 90 cents to 95, moves up and down, maybe 91, 92, 94, 93, up and down here in this range before attempting to break that 95 cents. So this is what could happen, right? You might just kind of like see a bit of profit gain, might come back down a bit, maybe retest, maybe come back down to 90, consolidate for like a couple of weeks or maybe one, two months. And eventually if we break that 95 cents level, then uh, it could become like the next 
phase up in terms of the uptrend forming right so i think that is for gen is it still looks good the uptrend still looks intact anything above 90 cents i think uh this could be a good play in terms of a good uh, reversal up still into 2023 when the world opens up more people start to travel people get used to traveling again and uh, you know when china come opens up as well i think now what happens is that china is kind of like easing its zero covid policy all right and that's where we see a lot of china tourists coming to singapore as well that would definitely be a boost to getting singapore as well all right so this is jetting right here trading about 0.94 i think it looks quite good one of those plays that you can watch in 2023 um and as long as it stays above 90 cents i think it looks pretty awesome all right, so let's take a look at what it says on my one GT system, one good trend. So I have a system called one good trend whereby we had a couple of like bullish or maybe even bearish signals over the past one, two years. And let's take a look at it to see what it says, whether there were any signals that came out recently as well, right? So you can see that the bar is pretty much green in color right here, right? So green bar just means it's a little bit of an uptrend, all right? And we had some uh, bullish signals coming out somewhere in like September, it kind of like push up a little bit, went back down, not much of a move because as I mentioned, we were still kept below that 80 five cents resistance level but somewhere around here i think in october this was on the 20th of october right here we got this little bullish signal and finally started to push up and we broke that 85 cents you can see right here bullish signal went up all the way up we got an exit on 28th of november and two days later we got another new uh, bullish signal coming up somewhere on the 30th of november and then since then started to push up 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 we broke the 90 cents and we are back to our target that we've drawn previously at about 90 five cents so right now you can see that this bullish signal still stands i mean there are no exits yet and what do i mean by the exit it would be like this little bar right here this would just mean an exit this means like a little bit of profit taking you can also lock in some profit by seeing some selling coming back all right so right now you can see that this bullish signal started to push up prices around here and there are no exit yet all right there are no exits yet so i think yeah i mean if we can break as i mentioned we might just consolidate from 90 to 95 we might see an exit we might not all right but you no know, if we do break that 95 cents i think this bullish signal right here can continue to play out we can start to push out maybe to like one dollar 105 and then we'll see if an exit comes out can guide us to get out as well all right so this is genting singapore on my 1gt system uh yeah you want to find out a bit more you can then one of those free web class that we're running next year all right we'll let you know when the web class is ready and you can find out a little bit more so joey here i hope you have a get a better idea of this stock called genting singapore all right one of those stocks that we like one of those stocks that have came into our watch list since uh, november when it kind of broke out of that key uh, one and a half years resistance level finally we are starting to see a bit of upside coming back all right so joey here thank you so much for watching i wish you a merry christmas and i look forward to see you in the next video take care